hi there welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create an attendance tracker like this it's very simple and then the percentage will be calculated for you automatically so if you enter zero automatically it's going to show that the person is absent if you enter one the person is present and then it's going to calculate the percentages for you at the top over there i'm going to walk you through how to do this very simple attendance tracker to woo your boss so let's jump right into this So this is what we're going to do because this is a brand new document all we're going to do here is to do the calculation so what i want to do here is that i want to introduce one is actually going to be check mark and then the zero will be the absence so what we're going to do is that just make sure you select this entire column where you want to display your result just select the entire column and then go to the conditional formatting and then we go to new rule click on new rule and then here under format uh, select that and then we are going to use icon set so we're going to use the icon set and then on the icon set click here and then let's use this option you can use this or that i'm going to use this and then what i want to do here is that i'm going to click on show icon only so i'm going to click on show icon only and here what i want to do is i'm going to change the type into number i'm going to change the type into number now what i want to do is that anytime you enter one it's going to represent the check mark that means you are you are present and then for this i'm actually going to change this into the absence so anytime you enter zero then automatically it means you are absent so i'm going to click on this and that is it now this is what we're going to do if i enter one here automatically you can see it's going to check it's going to check and then if i enter zero here then this will show as absent but what we want to do is that anytime so this student for instance or this employee john let's say john is on Wednesday you enter one automatically it's going to check that John is present but if John is absent on Thursday you enter zero and automatically that will switch in that order but anytime we do this we actually want to get a percentage calculated for us at the top so that is what we're going to do so let's try and then get a percentage calculated for us at the top of our screen so let's jump right into that so I'm going to calculate the percentage here so I'm going to say equal to and then what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the count if I'm going to use count if so what i'm going to do is that for the count if i'm going to select this entire column i'm going to select this entire column where i have my this so i'm going to go ahead and then put this into brackets so first i'm going to actually including one so one which means you are present i'm going to do that like this then close the bracket all divided by count a so i'm going to say this and then i'm also going to the column of my employee but for this i want it to remain fixed so i'm going to press the function that's the f4 on my keyboard to actually freeze that column which means it's going to be constant so all i need to do right now is to close this and it's going to give me something like this you can see we have to convert this into a percentage so just go to your number column and click on the percentage percentage sign and you can see this will convert into percentage but let's drag this formula for the rest so we actually going to have this for the rest so now what is going to happen is that if i enter one you can see my percentage will be updated automatically by our, but i actually want to change this into bars as well so you can select that column go back to the conditional formatting and then you can use the data bar pick any of these gradient data bar for any one that you it will be okay for you just select that then you can keep on going and then you can enter one enter one then enter one if the person is present you enter one if the person is absent you enter zero and automatically it should give you something very interesting something very amazing like this so this is basically how to create this very simple attendance tracker using excel i'm doing a lot of videos on excel remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos tutorials so this is basically the techniques and you can see automatically this will be updated you know what i'm going to leave this template at the description of the video so you can try your hands on this like subscribe for more videos tutorials like this and don't forget to turn on post notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos tutorial if you enjoyed this video give me a like and subscribe for more bye